Subtracting fractions works the same as adding fractions, but let's go through its rules right from the beginning. If we want to subtract 2 thirds minus 1 fifth, we have to have a common denominator. So we need to know the multiples of 3 and 5. I'm going to draw them here. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and it keeps going. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It keeps going. I look for the lowest number that's in both lists, which in this case is the 15. So, I want to convert 2 thirds and 1 fifth into fractions over 15. The 3 has to be converted into a 15, and I do that by multiplying it by a 5. So therefore, the 2 has to also be multiplied by a 5, and 2 times 5 is 10. 5 is, is converted into 15 by multiplying it by 3, so the 1 has to be multiplied by a 3, and I get 3 over 15. Now that they are both over the common denominator of 15, I can say 10 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths must be equal to 7 fifteenths, and I have my answer. Of course, there is a shortcut. 3 times 5 is 15. So we can get a common denominator simply by multiplying the 3 and the 5. If we multiply the denominators of our starting fractions, we get a common denominator. But it's not always going to be the lowest common denominator. So let's see a few more examples and see how that plays out. Here we have 11 twelfths minus 7 twelfths. Well, our denominator happens to already be common, so we have a really easy one here. We can just answer the question. 11 minus 7 is 4. Our answer is 4 twelfths, which reduces, if I divide top and bottom by 4, into 1 third.